Hey guys! So today we're going to be playing in this gorgeous natural wavy lace wig from Eon Hair. They sent it over and I decided to slay it from start to finish with you guys. So I'm taking a little bit of Got To Be Glued spray and kind of combing those baby hairs back. The spray is going to help to secure all of the flyaways and make sure that you do not over bleach and that the bleach does not, you know, see through over the hairline. Now as you guys can see I took a 30 volume developer and my BW bleach made a nice little mixture put it on let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes about 20 minutes and then I rinsed it out washed with purple shampoo um, conditioned and here we are gorgeous natural flawless hairline it was pre plucked by the company I did not do anything extra just bleached the knots. So you guys always ask, how do I make lace wigs glueless? The elastic band is the perfect method to go ahead and secure your wig. Make sure it's not sliding back, it's not lifting. I took, I think this is a one inch elastic band. I'll have it linked down below. Normally I'll use a one and a half or a two inch. And I went ahead and sewed it down to the lace. I have a specific technique that I like to use. This is it for, for the most part. But if you want a detailed tutorial, I'll have that linked down below. So here's a good shot of what the wig looks like on. Absolutely beautiful. You would swear I plucked this out myself. This is by far one of the best hairlines I've received in a while. I'm going to pull the hair back and secure it so that I can go ahead and work on cutting off the excess lace. I was for sure I was going to have to do some kind of customization, but I definitely did not have to. When cutting your lace, I like to cut off all the excess lace. So wherever you see me cutting, it's pretty much where there is no hair. And you know, if I leave a little bit of lace, I'll usually go back in and cut it off. But if it's not flush and flawless to my skin, um, I like to cut off anything extra. It's also important to customize the lace around your ear to make sure that it fits flat and flush and that there's nothing bulky or there's no extra hair or no extra lace, you know, covering your ears. So that's all I'm doing right here. Now, I don't know what got into me, but I pulled out my old original Got To Be Glued gel and I decided to go ahead and secure my wig using that. Of course, it didn't work because you guys know I have a lot of sideburns I tried I tried I tried it stuck for a few minutes and then boom it lifted again if you are looking for a glue that actually works and keeps your wig down for at least a week I would highly recommend the Isha glue if you guys want I'll do a detailed tutorial on how I use that and you know just let me know if you guys want to see that here I went ahead and secured the edges or basically the sideburns but I did not glue down the rest of the hair aka like right in the top and the front and the center and the only reason I didn't is because honestly it didn't need it you guys can see when I separate the baby hair it is plucked to perfection I'm going to use a little bit of mousse aka foam lotion to go ahead and swoop the baby hair this is something that will help to kind of make the baby hair look nice and basically it works as an edge control but this is not a bonding agent so this is not going to like secure your wig or you know bond it down it's more so for looks and making the hairline um, you know look flawless I'm taking my baby hair brush and I'm swooping, swooping, swooping. I kind of just swoop until I get it how I want it. Now you guys know normally I'll go ahead and swoop, you know, baby hair around the entire perimeter of the head. I've been doing something a little bit different and kind of finding a happy medium between baby hair and no baby hair. And this is kind of like my compromise or my happy medium, I guess you can say. Also, I do find that whenever you play with your baby hair, the more you mess with it, the more you find yourself just like messing it up. And sometimes the first time you do it, it's just fine. Now this one did come with deep parting. I believe this is about six inches of lace parting. If I did not mention the texture of this hair is Brazilian virgin hair. The texture is also natural wavy, 180% um, density, and it is 20 inches in length. They sent over a medium cap, which I think worked out well. Um, they do offer a small cap, but I believe that the small cap um, takes a few extra days to be prepared. So if you order that one, just be advised that you might have a few extra days until you actually receive your wig. But the medium works just fine, especially if you're doing like me and adding the elastic band. Also, the lace is a medium brown, and you guys will see I'll use a contour powder. As far as the hair goes, I just use water in that same foam lotion, and everything came out beautiful. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with this look. I did go ahead and bond this down, but you guys know how that goes. It never stays unless I actually use something that is um, 
actually glue. I definitely forgot to add powder to the party, so I'm going to do that now. Last video I did, I tried out the Black Radiance Contour Powder, um, which is a shade darker than me. It's not a whole shade darker, but it's like a smidget. I basically use this um, normally as one of my options for contour. Um, you got to use a contour powder that is essentially darker than your complexion and is not too red and I find that that works the best so while I've been doing foundations this whole time now I'm on the contour bandwagon I'm using a contour powder and I'm definitely gonna go ahead and OD and order a bunch they did actually pre-plug and give me a baby um, a natural hairline with baby hair which they did an amazing job on. I'm going to give them their credit. You guys did see I went ahead and bleached the knots for a more natural um, hairline. And then after I did that, I was able to just actually literally apply the wig, cut the lace, and just make a little bit of baby hair. Lately, I have been like, instead of doing baby hair in the center and then baby hair on the side and down all the way down, um, usually I'll kind of like swoop the center swoop here swoop here and then have the side brands with this one I just kind of wanted to keep it a little bit more simple and that's kind of been my look lately it's just kind of like doing your these two swoops here like above my uh temple or like above the arch of my eyebrows so to speak as far as the hair goes I feel like it's an awesome texture it definitely um was super pretty before I even started and just going ahead and bleaching the knots definitely set it off and added an extra touch to it and made it look more flawless and realistic i can't wait to play in this wig a little bit more and do some different styles with it i definitely wanted to get some space buns and different things or some braids i just feel like i have a natural hairline and the crazy thing about it is everything is glueless i did add glue here and you guys can see that didn't stick but here there is literally no glue my hairline is just sticky naturally because i've been doing other wigs but there is no glue here it literally is just sitting by itself and the key to that is the elastic band that you guys seen me use the elastic band always comes through in the clutch here is a final texture shot of what I came up with the hair the only styling product I use on the length of the hair is the mousse and h2o Definitely came out super awesome. Absolutely loved this wig. They give you a good amount of parting in the parting space. Absolutely no complaints. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out OMG Queen. They definitely have some awesome wigs. This one again is a 360 lace wig with an awesome frontal in the front. Everything about this one is absolutely gorgeous. I believe they did give six inches of parting, so you definitely have that deep parting space. Don't forget to customize everything to your liking so that you get the perfect flawless finish. The link to this wig is listed in the description box. Also, a link to everything that I used to style this wig is listed in the description box. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.